Andy Mogul. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our last audition episode. That's right. After over a month of airing our favorites, we are this close to selecting the next host of Backyard Effects. This show. For those of you jonesing for a build episode by me, don't worry. Next week, I'll be doing a special two-part build episode. But right now, it's time to show you the last, but certainly not least, of our favorite audition episodes. This was sent in by Eric Steele. Eric spelled with a K. And he's going to show us how to create a sweet arm cannon. Enjoy, and please let us know how you thought they did by leaving a comment down below. Hello, Indy Mogul. My name is Eric Steele, and this is my audition tape to be the next face of Indy Mogul. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own arm cannon. The arm cannon has been a concept and has been used and utilized in video games and movies alike. Uh, it kind of came from back in 1987 when Mega Man became really popular and it was one of my favorite games as a kid. And I've always liked the uh, idea of having arm transform into an actual, you know, robot blaster which is used to uh, annihilate anything in your path. So today we're going to build one and do it on the cheap. I don't have a Wheel of Prosperity but I do have a Dark Board of Doom. To help me utilize this is none other than my demonically possessed teddy bear. You ready, Teddy? Here we go. First, you're gonna wanna make sure you get a plastic jug, find a tap light at a local store, a switch, some wire and a battery source, a screwdriver with a few screws, a wooden dowel, spray paint of your choice, metal sheet, some foam lining, and a few knickknacks. Hey Indie Mobile, this is James Lee Films, and you're watching a 10 second trailer to my new short, Desolate. Now the plastic jug is going to serve as our casing for the arm cannon. You're going to need to cut out a spot where your arm will be able to slide in. I plotted out my path with a magic marker. Also, you're going to want to cut out a decent sized hole where our light source is going to come from. Now that I have the actual shape of my arm cannon, I'm going to spray paint it with some primer, then my finishing coat. Make sure to wear safety equipment when using spray paint, and always spray in a ventilated area. And give each paint coat a chance to dry. Now we're going to make the handle for our arm cannon and take the wooden dowel and cut out a 6 inch piece. And because I want my arm cannon to light up on its own, I took apart a tap light and then took out each individual piece and rewired it so that way it will work with a switch. Let there be light. I then took my light setup and attached it to my 6 inch wooden dowel which is going to act as my handle. I used some of the aluminum to serve as a plate for the light to sit on. It's now time to attach the handle to the inside of our arm cannon. So once you set it in, you just screw it in place with two screws and make sure that the connection is still set. When working on this project, you're going to want to have hot glue gun handy. So, but be very careful because these things get extremely hot and you don't want to burn yourself. You, you talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here, so you must be talking to me. Now I'm going to hot glue the lens and casing to the front of the arm cannon. And after adding a little bit of foam padding to, as an armrest and a couple specialized personalized decals that you make yourself, you'll have yourself a bona fide personalized arm cannon. Now that you have this prop, I'm going to show you how to edit the, uh, the cool effect where the arm cannon actually busts out of your own flesh. First export the before and after frames where the arm blaster is going to appear. Take both the images and cut out both the arm and the blaster, putting them both on their own separate layer. I'm using Photoshop for this. I then cut my arm into three separate pieces, which I will then animate later. This fake arm is gonna replace my real arm. Now I gotta get rid of the real arm footage. This will be done with some masking and some good old movie magic. 
You can learn how to do this effect by watching previous Indie Mogul episodes like the green screen build. Last, after doing some painstaking keyframe animation, you should have made a cool robot blaster appear right out of your skin. Welcome, Internet viewers, to the 37th Annual World Series of Rock, Paper, Scissors! In this corner, we have the man with a slide of the hand, Colin Scissorbender! He's a point of the Pro Cyborg built out of Detroit, Michigan, RPS 3000! yourself and learn something and just remember with any film you make they are only limited to your imagination so subscribe leave a comment uh, keep tuned to the indie mogul to see way more cool build feel free to send in your ideas for things that you want to get made and hopefully i'll be invited back to show you guys how to make even more cool props like big guy back there and that's a wrap <laughs>